Hi, I'm Julie Hanks, LCSW, and uh, I have four tips for handling criticism. It can be so hard when someone gives you negative feedback. Um, it feels like a, you know, a personal attack often, um, but it's really important to figure out how to deal with negative feedback and use it to benefit you and to not let it kind of uh, become a, a negative thing that you beat yourself up with which I have some experience with. Um, so when someone criticizes you, the first thing is to consider the source. Really think about how much do you care about this person? How much do you trust them? How close are they to you? Uh, do they tend to criticize everybody? So consider, you know, when you're weighing that negative feedback, the source. If it's your boss and they're saying, hey, you need to step it up here, that's probably an important source to listen to. Um, if it's, it's a really close loved one or a spouse or a partner, it's important to listen to. But you know, if it's something you don't care about, just brush it off. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the feedback and brush it off. Um, there's, uh, uh, the second tip is to decode the emotional message. And this is particularly helpful in close relationships with family, close friends. Um, I know with with my kids, they'll say something like, well, you never, or you always, or how come we haven't done this? How come you haven't taken us to the park yet? Really, the emotional message of that is, I miss you and I wanna spend time with you. And so decoding the emotional message is really important because when they say, how come we haven't done anything fun yet? I can say, wow, you really wanna spend time with me. Let's plan something, what do you wanna do? And it kind of bypasses the power struggle or the fight. So that's really important. Um, the third tip is to separate your worth from your performance. And what I mean by that is we all have value because we were born and we exist, period. Now, our performance on any given day will go up or down. And usually people are criticizing our performance. So maybe your partner is saying, oh gosh, you're so messy. Well, they're not saying you're a bad person, they're just saying your behavior, your performance in um, taking care of your things is not so great right now. So worth is consistent, performance goes up and down. So be open to feedback about your performance because we all have good days, bad days, and it's not a, even though it may feel like it, it's not an attack on your worth as a person. Finally, it's really important that you be the judge. When you have some criticism, negative feedback, really consider, okay, is there, a, is there any truth in this? Do I just need to dismiss it and think, oh, they're having a bad day? Or is there something there for you to learn? So ask yourself that and you be the judge as to whether this is something you need to take to heart or just let it kind of um, slide off and, and not really attend to it. So ultimately you have to determine whether the feedback is valid and whether there's something for you to learn. Hopefully this helps. We all deal with criticism in pretty much every relationship, right? So hopefully this will help you be able to maintain a, a sense of strength and, and that you're worth um, and you have value even though people aren't always happy with what you do. I'm Julie Hanks and you can find out more about me at juliehanks.com.